Hey everybody, welcome back to episode 2 of Nerding Out with Jake, and in this episode I'll be walking you through the way I did the camo and the decals of the finished T3485. Let's get started. Now for this particular finished tank, I'll be using a simplified version of the brown and lighter gray color that was typically put on the Finnish tanks when they were captured by the Finns from the Russians. There are some different variants out there, but since the model is so small, I'll be making more of a simplified version. And I start off by mapping out the spots I want to be a lighter color, because you can actually color up the lighter color with the darker color later on. And you'll see what I mean. But I apply the deck hand first, and I take my time applying it, making sure not to pool it too much, otherwise you get some crazy ugly runs all over the model. I love using the AK Interactive putty to mask my camouflage portions out because it is so easy to use and it's very, very easy to adhere to the paint. Another nice thing is that using the new Generation 3 colors, the paint won't peel off when I'm using the putty. So, as you can see there, it came off very easily, it has worked really well as a mask, and I was pretty satisfied at this point, so I went on to start using my darker color, the brown. Again, same process as before, I just slowly built the color up and went away just kind of covering up any area that I thought would actually need a little more emphasis, especially the tops and the side. But not to go too overboard with it, I don't want to have any bleeding occur, but as I'm using the AK Real Color paint, it dries wonderfully flat and is the equivalent of using the Tamiya paint. So, hey, it's great stuff. And if you're really curious about the AK Real Colors, I highly suggest checking out uh, John, or I call him JP, JP and Julian's articles on the blog. They cover them in great detail. I know that JP loves using these paints, and I agree. They are amazing paint to work with. And once that second coat is applied, or that second color I mean, we take the putty off and there we go. We have some nice camouflage tones in there and it actually blend pretty well in the finished forests. With the camouflage out of the way, it was time to move on to adding decals. Um, I actually decided to use a couple decals from a different kit I had and I whipped out the VMS decal set and soften. So prior to applying the decal, I went and applied the VMS set and soften onto the coat of the paint area that I wanted to put the decal on. And at that point, I just took and tease it with the brush, making sure to flatten it and let the set and soften do its magic. You'll see me go back and forth a little bit and stipple the brush onto the decal and um, especially after I get done putting the 44 up there. The trick is to let the set and soften melt the detail or <laughs> sorry the decal so it actually adheres to the decal details of the turret these uh t34 turrets had a lot of different crevices a lot of texture to them and that really shines with this product because it actually allows the decal to act like paint and get into those crevices and give that texture look as if it was painted on a trick to doing a little more adhesion with the decals to the paint would be to take a small blade or in this case my little pen knife and start poking holes very small holes in the decals and letting that set and soften really work the paint or <laughs> work the decal onto the paint and it does a great job and once the decals are in place it's time to get out some matte varnish i like the vallejo matte varnish it's personal preference Put it on there and then just let the model sit overnight at least so it has time to cure both the layers of the paint you put on with the camouflage and also then the decals to completely adhere to the model. And at that point, you're pretty much done. That's all for this episode. Thanks again for looking at episode two. In the next episode, I'll go into more of the fun stuff, like be the filters, oils, and washes, and really start to bring the model to life and make it look like it's been out and doing a lot of different things. So, again, that's all for now, and I will uh, talk to you later. Thanks, guys, and have a great one.